asked quite often, what is that on your wall of your office? I had one of my clients many, many years ago paint this beautiful mural of Buddha because I love many of the quotes from Buddha, one of which that is on my wall. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. So I'd like you to think about that for a moment. Where are your thoughts? All that we are is a result of what we have thought. Do you believe you can have the life you want? Do you believe that you can be the best version of yourself? Do you can't believe you deserve the best that life has to offer? And I pose these questions because many times, and what I've found with my clients, is that they want all this, but then we always kind of hedge ourselves, back off just a hair, because maybe if I prepare for the worst, or don't get my hopes up too high, then I won't be disappointed. I won't experience pain because it'll just be, well, you know, that happens to me. Well, you know, that was a, that was a shot in the dark anyways. I challenge you instead to focus on what it is you want because guess what, folks? You can have pain either way. Why not stay in the lane of what you want to experience, shoot for the stars, shoot for that. Encourage yourself to have the courage to create a life you design instead of focusing on lack or focusing on always keeping that shoe from dropping. Maybe I don't need to take so much risk. I don't need to invest in myself. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. But all you do is rob yourself from the best possible options. Have courage in yourself, period. End of story. No excuses. Shoot for the stars. You can be and have all that you want and be the best version of yourself. And don't rob yourself for being and shooting and having. Because even by hedging yourself or being tentative or not taking that risk or not improving self or not processing your emotions and moving through your hurts and your and your pains in life you only perpetuate suffering for yourself so pain is inevitable those are all the challenges in life suffering is optional remember you've heard me say this before and it's our resistance that creates the suffering don't put the brakes on don't encourage suffering Yes, it takes great courage to step into your area of genius, we all hear that, or to step in to creating a life you design, not one of default, my tagline. It takes courage, but I encourage you to give yourself that courage. One of my biggest influencers is Dr. David Hawkins, Power Versus Force. And there are levels of consciousness. When we start tuning into our emotional set points and we start discovering where we are, when we are courageous or stepping into courage, we come out of those forced emotions and into the power emotions. And it helps us move up the emotional scale. Courage, willingness. I think it's maybe it's courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, reason. These are all productivity and peak performance. We come into that zone 
So courage leads us out of emotions that are lower. Shame, guilt, anger, grief, fear. Even pride is down there. So I encourage you to rise. Step into courage. Step into willingness and neutrality. Create an environment that you can thrive and turn all that we are as a result of what we have thought. Align your thoughts with what you are. You are a courageous being of light. You are a beautiful divine being. Step into it. I and encourage yourself to be that which you wish to see in the world. I am the vibration of love, joy, peace. All that we are is a result of what we have thought. What are you thinking? What are you thinking about yourself? And is that what you want to think about and create in your life?